In this video we will be controlling a DC motor in Python and programming a few functions that can turn it on and off as well as control the direction of the motor. For this project we will need the following parts, our Arduino, a breadboard, a breadboard power supply, a battery, a connecting wire for our battery and power supply, a L293D chip, a motor with connecting wires, an optional fan blade attachment, and eight male to male jumper wires. First let's connect our breadboard power supply. We have to use an additional power supply as when we connect a DC motor in a circuit, it drains a lot of power. So we can supply additional power from a battery, the power supply unit will connect directly into your breadboard. It should be placed with the positive side connected to the positive bus of the breadboard and the negative side to the negative bus. It has the option to supply 5 volts or 3.3 volts depending on which pins are selected. We can select the power supply by rearranging the plastic voltage selector. The power supply operates off a switch. When the switch is pressed on, the voltage will run through it and to the breadboard. When off, no power will be supplied. Let's hook up our battery and press the on and off switch. Here you can see, when the supply is on, an LED will light up. Now let's add the L293D chip. This chip allows us to pass multi-directional currents into it, as well as control our power supply. It will use our Arduino as its brains and pass the relevant information through to our motor. It's important to use a chip or a resistor when connecting a DC motor as the DC motor when switched off will give a backflow of current to our device. The chip can handle backflows so that our Arduino isn't damaged by it. Next connect the DC motor to the breadboard. The placement of the wires should be on the same row as the third pin in on the chip, from both left and right sides. So there should be a gap of two pins in the middle of the chip. We will only be using one side of the chip. The other side can accommodate a second motor if needed. If you have any available, attach the fan blades to the motor. This is optional, but helps us to see which direction the motor is spinning. Now connect a male to male jumper wire between the ground on your Arduino and the negative bus on the breadboard. Then connect pin 5, which is a pulse with modulation pin, to the same row as the first pin on our chip. Connect pin 4, which will be either a positive or negative digital output to the second row of our chip. Now connect a wire from the ground negative bus to the fourth row from the left of our chip. Then connect pin 3 which will also be either a positive or negative output pin to the 7th pin from the left of our chip or the 2nd from the right. And finally add another wire which connects the positive bus to the 8th and last pin of our chip. This completes the wiring part. Hopefully your wiring will now look similar to mine. Now you can plug your Arduino into the computer and we can start creating our Python script. First open idle and create a new file called DC motor and save it. Then from the PyFirmata library, import Arduino and util. We will also need to import time and tkinter as tk. Next let's define the USB port that our Arduino will be plugged into. Here I'm using COM3. Then let's create an iterator. This allows us to read and write to the Arduino board in a loop so that we can constantly send and receive data. Now let's create a connection to our pins by using the getPin method. We will need to get pins 3, 4 and 5, D stands for digital, then the pin number then, O for output, for pin 5, instead of an O. We need to type, P, as it is a pulse with modulation pin. These pins can take a decimal value between 0 and 1. For instance, if we wrote 0.8 to this pin, the motor would run at 80% speed. Let's use the write method to write a value to our pins, for pin 3 and pin 4. One of them should have the value of 1 in it, and the other should have a value of 0. These pins dictate the direction that our DC motor will spin in. If we swap the 0 and 1 around, the motor will spin in the opposite direction. For pin 5, we will enter a value of 1. This is how fast our motor will spin, with one being full speed. If we now run the code, and then press the on switch on our power supply, the motor will turn on and start spinning. Back in the code, let's create a quick user interface which we can use to control our motor. 
Create a window. Set the title to DC Motor. Set the background to black. Set the state to zoom so that it opens full screen. Then close the tinter main loop at the bottom of the code. Then put the right statements inside of a function called on. We also need a way to turn the motor off. So copy and paste the on function, rename as off, and set all the values in the right statements to zero. This will turn the motor off. Now create a new function called direction which we will use to change the direction that our motor spins. Create a variable above the function called direction and set its value to zero. Then inside the function, declare the global variable direction. Whenever we change the direction, we want to turn the motor off first for a short amount of time. So call the off function. Then type a time.sleep statement that pauses the script for half a second. Whenever we use this function, we want to change the value of direction from either a 0 to a 1, or from a 1 to a 0. So type if direction equals 1, set it to 0, else set it to 1. Finally, when the function finishes, we want to start the motor again, so call the on function. Now in our on function, based on the value of our direction, we want to reverse the polarity of our right functions. To do this, first declare the global variable direction. Then create a statement that says, if direction equals 1, then set direction 2 to 0, else direction 2 equals 1. Then in the function create a variable called direction 2 and set it to the value of 0. Now we will have two direction variables that are opposite to each other. In pin 3, replace the current value with direction and in pin 4 replace the current value with direction 2. I made a mistake in my code here and entered the value of direction 2 in pin 5 but I will correct this shortly. First, let's create a few buttons which will handle our three functions. Create button one which will have the text value of on and will call the on function. Place it at the x and y values of 50. Then create a button two which calls the off function and is placed at the x value of 350 and a button three that calls the direction function and is placed at the x value of 650. Because we have a variable called direction as well as a function called direction, let's make it less confusing and rename the function to change underscore direction. I also need to change the text that's displayed on the buttons. Here I had a single equals when I should have used a double. Let's just correct the right statements in the on function and then run the code. If we now turn on the power on our breadboard and press a few of the buttons, you will see that the DC motor updates based on the functions in our Python script. This concludes the video on writing a Python script to control a DC motor using an Arduino. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.